Oh no, that guy's cute too! Makes me feel, like, viable for war crimes. Some of the things that I'm doing to these poor cute things. Ooh, gotta avoid the plies. I don't think that's the correct ballerina term, so if there's any ballerinas in the comment section, please don't eviscerate me. Give me the D. Wait, I regret saying that. Let's all go to the mall today. So that's, uh, for those of you that don't know, a very uh, How I Met Your Mother reference. Oh, that's pretty cool. Abandoned mall. But in How I Met Your Mother, you know, they're doing the How I Met Your Father uh, remake, and I can't bring myself to watch it because I love the original series of How I Met Your Mother, and I just I can't bring myself to watch it. Speaking of Spike, I used to, when I was a kid, I used to have my hair like this. I used to spike my own hair. It's a weird, uh, we all made mistakes, folks. You know, it was a weird, uh, weird phase for me. You know, is anybody else like one of those kids that always had, like, one of those dreams where you, like, got stuck into a mall and you just kind of had your run of the, the whole area? People still, is that still, like, a common thing? Because I guess, you know, malls aren't really, I mean, where I live, we don't have any malls, but... You know, our closest mall is like an hour and 45 minutes away, but do people still have that kind of thing? I mean, with Amazon being around, you kind of have to help but think that, you know, mall... I can't imagine the mall business is doing that well anymore. This lollipop here. Is it like a superstar? We're invincible. I'm invincible. Boom, boom, boom. You guys got nothing. Is that our first Gordo sighting? Sweet! What? Are we are we lockers? I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to tip over here. It's really slow. Oh, you have to back and forth. Folks, don't be what I'm doing right now. Those things you're supposed to walk quickly on. I like the burger, you know what, I'm, I'm a big fan of the burger, just because it's so versatile, it's it's a blank canvas, you know, you can just kind of do whatever you want, kind of make, kind of make it your own, Sorry. which is always really nice, I like, I just like, uh, so, for those of you who don't know, uh, I went to culinary school, and cooked for like, a while in the restaurant industry, uh, which, be honest with you, not a fan of the restaurant industry. I know a lot of people that worked in it aren't necessarily, but uh, I always like foods that you can just kind of do your thing with. You know, you can just kind of make whatever the heck you want, just be creative, all that kind of stuff. I love the ability to just kind of. I, I've mentioned in previous episodes, being creative is super cool. You know, the ability to just kind of make stuff however you want to make them. Just kind of, kind of burned himself out. Burn, burn, Mister. Oh, we get a cool new ability. Is this the freezy ability? Sweet. Oh, we kind of skate. Oh, that's cool. Playing out here, playing hockey. Which again, love hockey. I have a uh, weird background when it comes to uh, career moves, for sure. Um, I also did, uh, sports broadcasting for a while. I worked for, like, a local TV station. But, we had, uh, let me tell you, good hockey is, there's not much that beats good hockey. Because let me tell you, I have seen some bad hockey. There is some really bad hockey around this area. Well, not around this area. Because we don't have a lot of it. But there was, like, some local stuff that was just, whew. <clears throat> it was pretty rough to, to watch, let me tell you. Door. Give me the waddle dee, give me the waddle dee, give me the waddle dee, yeah. Sweet. Ah, uh, yes. Technology. 
This reminds me of like computer class when I was in like the fourth, fifth grade. We had like those, were those Apple computers when they first came out with, uh, they were like the see-through colors. And uh, you know, you could see the components inside the, the actual co computers themselves, was so funny. Like, just to see the, the way that we've come through with technology nowadays. Those Nikes? Those are, uh, ooh, that almost looks like Under Armour shoes. I love shoes. Love sneakers, anyway. Those are, uh... I don't have enough, nearly enough money to, uh, to be able to facilitate it, as most people do with some of their, uh, purchasing habits. But then again, I'm... I don't spend money on anything. I'm, I'm really... I don't want to say I'm cheap, because, like, I, I still spend money, but I don't... I don't spend money on myself very often. So, like I said, love shoes. But, uh, you know, love cars, too. I love cars, but, uh, you know, don't want to spend the money on a car. Uh-oh, this looks bad. I'm about to pull the whole wall down. Yee-hoo. This is bad. Bad. Ooh! Kirby with a very nice, uh... Oh, uh, he... I didn't even say he goes for the triple axle. It's so adorable. But, let's grab our three waddledees. To our sweet dance. I remember uh, my age, anyway. So it's certainly showing. I don't know what kids do these days, but it was like you were part of the cool, cool kid group. If you guys like went to the mall after school, like everybody was was the group. You know, they're like, hey, what are you guys doing after school? Oh, we're going to the mall. I uh, I grew up in this place up in uh, northern Delaware. It was called uh, Christiana. And that's like, that's the big, big mall in Delaware. But before, when I lived there, it was really, it wasn't really that big. So, uh, so like everybody would go there and they're like, yeah, you know, this is the place to go. Like, this is where the cool people hang out after school. And I just remember being like, can I go to the mall? Like, no specific reason. Like, there was no reason that you should have needed to go to the mall. But, you know, just being, you know, a kid because everybody else was doing it. You were trying to be cool. You're like, I want to go. I just I want to be part of the group. And then you could look back at it and just be like, that was really stupid. Like, all we did was sit at the mall and waste time. Man, he's got like tiger stripes. Is that ice on his neck? Oh my god, the face! Oh, the waddle dees are the ice on his, uh, on his neck. I got you. That's pretty cool. Strong armed beast Goremondo. Just gotta keep under his butt. Slash on the Tukus. Uh oh. Oh, he's dazed too. That's why. Take him out. Got a little bit more. Come on. Boom. Done. See ya, Gormando. He's got a mohawk too, man. That's pretty nice. That's pretty glammed out. And <laughs> poofy goes. All the waddle dees. They're so sad. Hey, folks. Let's help you out. Oh, so I guess. Defeat Gormon with the sword ability. Do we just have to beat him with every ability? Is that kind of the... I'm assuming that's what you have to do to get the, all the Waddle Dees. <laughs> He's all decked out in, like, the blacksmith armor. Welcome to Waddle Dees Weapon Shop. I work with all types of copy abilities. It's uh, kind of my thing. So let's evolve this, then. <laughs> it's not wasting any time. He's just like... <laughs> back to it. Da-da-da-da. <laughs> Great work, Waddle Dee. Oh, that's cool. It's literally volcanic rock. Oh, he's got a little floaty. I didn't even see that. That's so adorable. Look, they have managed in the Kirby series to make this character such an adorable part of the Nintendo franchise. And I give them a heck of a lot of credit for it. You guys remember the, uh, the game where the, like, the teeth on the crocodile and you, like, pushed each tooth down? And it was basically hoping that you weren't going to get chomped on by the, the alligator. Man, I love that game. Oh, we got it. Wild Bonkers. Oh, wow, this volcanic, volcanic fire is just ripping through his health. Come on. We are shredding his health. Crying out loud. No shot, man. Ooh. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, we got the mallet. Do I have to drop this to get the mallet? <laughs> oh yeah, I love it. Oh no, that guy's cute too! Makes me feel, like, viable for war crimes. Some of the things that I'm doing to these poor cute things. Everything just has a smile on its face, and Kirby's like, Yup, I'm gonna hit you in the face. This little foxy sandcastle. <laughs> Destroy the animal sand sculpture. You can actually get a wobble beef for that. Look, we have, um... Like I said, I don't live too far away from the beach. We have competitive sandcastle building. Uh, occasionally. And let me tell you, some of the stuff that people are able to do with sand sculptures is ridiculous. The creativity is so cool. I mean... I'll see if I can find a picture. I have one that I took uh, a couple years ago where this person basically uh, made, I think it was like a dinosaur, and basically put it out on the beach. It's so cool. I'll have to see if I can find a picture for it, and I'll put it on the screen for you guys. But like I said, that's anybody that can do anything art-related, you know, draw, people that can do like 3D imaging and sculptures and things like that, I envy those people. That is like a super cool skill. I always wish I could draw, but I am... Terrible at art. What is this going to be? <laughs> Wind Blast. Oh, that's like one of those Air Zooka toys that they used to always have for, like, kids. The three new dimensions, man. The things that these people did. I just... Like I said, back to the creativity. I love the people that just... They just sit there and come up with these types of ideas. This stuff is so cool. Up here, grab our three waddle bees. Boom, crew saved. Seal, okay. You're not supposed to be bonking seals. That's a that's a no no. Is that a burrowing power up? I like that one a whole lot. I want to talk about like a crazy job, like people that do like those offshore, uh, they basically do like excavation work, but they do them for like boats and stuff that have like uh, capsized or lose these cargo ships that lose items, like freighters and things like that. It's crazy. But the money, man, the money in that, I can't even imagine. There's got to be decent money for those guys. <laughs> We're just about to be a rolling barrel of destruction. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh, <boy. Ooh>. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's so funny. Now we're flattened. Okay. We also are critical health, so I need to, uh... Oh, blueprint! Okay. What's this one for? The clutter needle. Okay. We took damage from that. We're a locker! Plies. I don't think that's the correct ballerina term, so if there's any ballerinas in the comment section, please don't eviscerate me. Oh, now it's, now it's two, two phases. Careful here, man. Throw the dime. Throw the, throw the chakrams. Do we get a power up from that? Do we get to we get to be spinning spinning the D? We do. Tornado. Oh, that's cool. Tornado twister. Yeah, that's a uh that reminded me of the uh, there was a Hot Wheels back in the day, Hot Wheels. That's a whew. I'm dating myself again, some more references. 
there used to be like one of these speed tracks that they had uh, with Hot Wheels. It was called a Tornado Twister. And it was so cool. I remember like buying it and being so excited because they obviously they always do it when they make uh, commercials for kids. You know, they want to make it as interesting as possible. Like the kids are having the best time ever. Oh my gosh, this is the best way ever. I can't wait to get this. And it was uh, not exactly one of those ones that was all that great. Stop! I need to get this ball to be. Oh, instead, we're gonna eat this. <laughs> we're gonna eat a gate? What? You have a flying level? What is this? This reminds me, uh, so they're bringing out another Top Gun movie, which is funny to me, um, on account of our movie theaters just, again, I, this is a stupid question, but movie theaters going back to just tracking in the nostalgia, they know what works, because people will go see it, they're like, oh man, I love the first Top Gun that came out in the 1980s, like, dude, enough's enough, like, we get it. There's only uh, there's only so many movies that you can really just rehash, and I feel like that's just one of those ones where like, how are you how are you gonna rehash that movie? Like it's done, it did everything it needed to do. Give me the D. Wait, I regret saying that. Grab the waddle -dees. and that should be enough for us to go back and see what the waddle -dees have in store for us. I got up there. Is that bandana D? A nice little one. Build Kirby's house. So they built us a house. We got a new blueprint, so we can go in there. Let's check out our house first. Anything interesting? Aw. Kirby has a book. Kirby can read. I think that's more groundbreaking than anything. Kirby Fighters 2, Kirby Super Clash. Deluxe, D2D. -D -D. That's just all of the Kirby games. Okay, that's cool. Kirby Star Allies. I love Star Allies. That was a, a good game, too. Sweet! So let's sleep real quick. Oh, he has a Warp Star pillow. That is such an adorable scene. I love it. Stretch in. Let's uh, get our day going.